we probably didn't think we needed training when we first got the camera, but after doing the training, it was really apparent that you needed the training. There were so many things that you don't think about and that you wouldn't know about if you hadn't done the training. Uh, and when my colleagues pick up the camera who haven't had the training, you can see the difference between what they see and how they read images compared to myself. When we do training in the UK, what I like to do is offer regular uh, training classes. So probably every six, seven weeks, I'll run a class. What that means is that we get people coming to the, the training in groups of between six and eight people. So it keeps the training class quite small. We will take our training material, we'll travel to different countries, we'll deliver on-site training, specialist training, adapted to that company and what that company's needs are. Uh, my particular areas that I concentrate on tend to be around Europe, the Middle East and Africa. Anywhere where there's oil or gas. Um, after doing the course, I think you become more confident. Myself, I deal with tenants on a daily basis and if I hadn't had the course to stand in front of a tenant and they would be interested in what you're looking at you wouldn't be able to explain what you're looking at to them unless you'd had the training. What I try to do is midway through the week is to get the guys out of the training room for an hour or so and what we do is we're fortunate that uh, close to the site we've got an off-road um, car experience so we can get the guys to sit in the car and go up and down the hills and across the seesaw but then when they get back then they can take images of different sections of the car so they can see that maybe the brakes are now energized maybe the tires have got a bit of energy in and of course we can look at any of the heated elements like the windscreens, the heated mirrors, the seats, the steering wheel, and they can watch that whole process from activation through to when it's got up to its, its uh, operational temperature, and then of course the cooling down. It's always easy to explain things in a training room and to watch over people as they operate a camera, but as soon as you go outside of the training environment, you find that there's other problems that start to manifest themselves. So we always like to, wherever possible, put some sort of practical out of the training room experience together so that they can get the most out of their training. I looked at um, lots of trainers across the UK. Some of them have got the credentials. Austin had the credentials, but he also, he also had the experience, um, the background that he had, the industries he'd worked in. Similar to my, my background from when I was an apprentice, so I, understand that, I understood that he knew the application of thermography. The training's ongoing really, it doesn't stop on the day that you walk out the door. You can email the trainers and they will reply and, and give you tips and hints, which today is a good example of because we've come back a year after we've done the training and it was a good refresher course that we've done today. It's a state-of-the-art discipline, okay? Obviously with digital technology, I wanted to introduce the use of smart boards and iPads so that not only can we cover the physics and the practical side but it makes it much more uh, accessible for the students to put their images onto tablets, manipulate the image and create a report while they're in the class. I think Austin's such a professional, he wants other people to be as professional as he is and that's why the trainer is so good because he will take the time to help you where you struggle. Uh, my manager chose the course because it was accredited. It was very important to her that it was a quality course and that it had accreditation. It's very important to me that the course is accredited because when, you, when you're talking to large clients like Galliford Try, like Bovis Homes, they want to ensure that the people they're using are very qualified and are accredited. If you are going to buy a new infrared camera, my advice to you would be to come on a course like this first. 